Dad, aren't we missing something? Like what? Like something should be in front of the sofa? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're watching an empty wall along this time. Hmm, good idea. Let's go to the mall and buy some TV and a TV cabinet. Oh, yay! Hey! Lovely crafters, welcome back to my show. Today we're going to make a TV cabinet with drawers. And as the TV, I'm going to use a mini iPad in 5.3 by 8 inches. First, cut these pieces of cardboard into this size. And then stack them together to create a stronger structure. And this is how. You need to overlap two different directions of cardboard texture to create a strong structure. And I'm choosing white glue instead of hot glue because I can spread it easily using a brush. And one good thing about white glue is it doesn't dry so quickly, so you will have more time to get to the right position. Put a heavy book on it till it's completely dried. And let's continue to the next pieces. For this part, I'm stacking three pieces of cardboard to make it look thicker. And always remember to put the smoother side outside. To make the next pieces, you need to remeasure it to make sure it's perfectly fit, like this. And then stack them together into three pieces just like before, like this, and then let's put them all together like this. To make the next pieces, once again, you need to remeasure it. And sometimes, you need to add a little trial and error. Well, that's handmade craft. Even though we're so sure about a measurement, sometimes we missed something. It's so hard to make it super perfect. That's fine. And then, let's stack them together into another three pieces of cardboard and put them in. Before finishing all the shelves, we need to cover the background using a color paper. I'm using white, and it has a little texture on it. I think it's cute. Of course, everything is up to your design. Whether you'd like to use another color or maybe another pattern, but I'm trying to make something neutral because I'm planning to put the colors on the drawers later. So don't forget to make sure the size is perfectly fit before you put the glue on. And it's not gonna be so perfect, but it's okay.
Here it is. Now you can design the arrangement of the shelves. But before, this is what I'm going to do to fix the flaws. So, I'm using white acrylic paint to cover the part that I don't really like. And you don't have to do this. If you're happy enough with yours, you can skip this. So I hope it looks better. Now let's continue to mark where you will put the shelf on. First, you need to make a simple ruler using any paper like this. And you don't have to follow my measurement, it's up to your design. And this is what you have to do. To make the shelf, you need to measure it part by part because it could be different one to another. So don't be so sure that they're all the same. And here they are. Make it thick just like before. And you have to remember which is which. That's why I put a code. So as you see, it's not even perfectly square. That's craft. And when you're sure that you're happy with it, let's cover them using another paper. Of course, you can experiment with another color. But I'm going to make it simple in one color. So, if you're making it perfectly fit like this, you don't even have to glue them. It won't fall. But of course, you can glue them all. And here it is. Once again, it's not perfect. Let's just continue to the next part. We need to make the TV holders using another piece of cardboard, just like this. And then cover them into black using any kind of paper, just to match the color of the TV. And let's try it on. Don't bother the cracks on the iPad. Yes, it's so ugly. And then let's continue to make the drawers using any kind of thick paper. Re-measure the space part by part. And this is how to count the measurement of the drawer. Of course, it has to be smaller than the space, so don't make it tight. And this is the geometry. It's just a simple geometry you learn in elementary school right then score these lines don't make it too hard or you're gonna cut it just try to make it easier to fold like this see this is so satisfying and glue them together I don't need to show you how and let's continue to the next part the fun part of course you can create your own design so I'm trying this boho vibe design using printable rotten texture on thick paper. And yes, the scale of the texture is a little bit too big. I hope you can fix it. And next idea is I cut a random pattern from a magazine to create a patchwork look. It's almost done. We just need a little bit more accessories to complete the cabinet. How about some books? Just print any kind of printable book cover you can find online. Score the middle to create a shape like this. And then fill it with some paper. And 
here they are my books how do you like it and then I also cut any random things from magazine to create some things like this I think it will complete the cabinet so well okay we're done hmm I really like this simple tropical style design what do you think yeah it's fine it suits any color of the room but let's check out another Aha! Patchwork style! It's so girly, so colorful. I love it. What do you think? Well, you're right. It's so girly, so granny. I love granny chick style. Let's check out another. Well, 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 I'm in love. Monochrome, just black and white, simple, elegant. This is it. Are you sure? There's no color on it. That's the point. Okay, let's go deciding. Ooh, I love this lamp. you enjoyed the show see you in our other show and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comment down below bye